Hey everyone, Ryan from the Rad Owners Forum, and today I am really excited for our latest product product review. And yep, we got a giant seat. You may already be aware that Rad Power Bikes makes their bikes compatible with the Thule Yep Maxi child seat. That's what we bought. Um, this is a, a good and bad, I think. Um, you know, the nice thing is you have a seat that you know that's going to be compatible. The downside is. Obviously, it pigeonholes you into purchasing this bike seat, and I don't personally think it's necessarily inexpensive. Rad Power Bike sells this for $230. Um, I actually managed to get it for a little under $110. I actually bought it through eBay. As you can see, the, bikes is, the box is quite damaged here, and so that's why it was a discount, but this seat is otherwise brand new. So let's check it out. Okay, so if we open up the box here, it actually is quite large, comes all put together. Blue was the option, the only option for us. It also comes in orange. Um, we actually probably would have preferred the orange, but actually the... Um, the Rad Wagon, at least the 2018, has some blue accents, so I think it'll match quite well. I think the, the first thing that surprised me, to be honest, I didn't do a ton of research on the seat because I just know that we wanted it having a Rad Wagon and, and having a four month old right now. We were really excited to get them on the bike this summer, but this is kind of like a soft, it's not really plastic, it's a little bit foamy, so there's got a little bit of give to it. Um, and it's a little bit softer, so that was that was nice to see. And if I'm able to turn this around, it's got reflectors on the back, which I think is really cool. And I haven't dug into it, but you probably saw a little bit earlier, it has keys on it, so there's an ability to lock it. And then it has these clips on the back, which adjust the... Um, the foot the foot rest in the front so that makes it you know obviously good for for children of, of different heights and so this um, the seat is actually compatible with any model newer or 2018 or newer all the rad power bikes obviously um, with the wagon and the runner you have the benefit that it just um, works right off the shelf with the rear integrated rear rack um, and then, obviously, with other models, you have to purchase the additional rear rack, and it'll work on that. Just make sure that you are abiding by the weight restrictions for those models. So I'm going to finish unpacking this, and then we'll put it on the bike, and we'll kind of see how it attaches. So first step is, you got to remove your rear rack. You cannot use this. So if you look at the back of the seat, you can see that it kind of has, has a divot there where it locks into the frame. And so if you look at the, my Rad Wagon, you can see that there's two windows there. There's one and there's two. So basically you can have two of these on the Rad Wagon, which is really cool. I am thinking that it might be better to, if we just have one child, to put the seat maybe closer to the actual rider uh, up here. But I'm thinking if I put it on the rear in a pinch, we could probably still put a passenger here because my wife and I, uh, before we had a child, typically rode together. And I'm thinking I can cut out a custom piece of wood, put the, the, the seat back on there. And it might be a little bit tight, but it might help. I think the alternative is that if you put it up front, you can also, you have more room for kind of bags hanging on the side. I know Rad says that it's not compatible when you use the seat with the side bags. Um, however, I don't see any issue um, if there is room. Um, I haven't seen anything that says where to position the seat. Um, 
either front or back, for instance, if you only have one. So the, real, the way this goes in, I find really slick. I'm going to try to do it here with one hand. So basically, you line it up, and I'm going to get this strap out of the way, because this actually goes towards the front. Okay. So, if you can see there, you can see I already got it hooked on there, and then it just comes down. And this is really cool. I, I didn't do a whole lot of research before I bought this. I just knew it was something we were going to want. And I figured if it's by Thule, it's probably a um, high-quality product. So then from there, you just tighten this. It just clicks. Well, that, feels, that feels pretty tight. I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to step over here quick. And then, as you saw earlier, you have the keys, and there's a keyhole right here to lock the seat in place. I was having a little trouble with the key, but once I looked at the inside, I figured out um, the way. So now I'm just going to turn it, let's see, it looks like left. And then pull out. And now, I assume, this is completely locked. This is kind of how you loosen it up. That's completely locked in there. So that's pretty slick. And then, so up front you have the safety strap. And you can see here that it tells you to strap around the seat post. Obviously when you have it back here, that's not possible. And actually if you had two yep seats, this connection point wouldn't be possible. Um, it's likely possible to put on this one. I tried, just was kind of a pain, so I'm just gonna use this one for now. Um, but yeah, definitely read the instructions and, and do more research on that, on that safety strap um, and where you might um, put it. And then as I mentioned, you can adjust the footrest to the height of your liking. And then also comes with these additional foot protectors. They kind of just slide on here. If I can get it under the frame there. Okay, so we're just gonna put our four month old in here. Obviously, we would never go riding with him this young. We're just kind of showing how it's going to work. I've seen a couple different references like for like a year old, nine months, ish obviously that's gonna totally depend on your child like how big they are and stuff um, so we're hoping to get him uh, he's four months now we're hoping to get him out this summer but yeah this is gonna be great and you can kind of see so I have the foot pegs the the, <laughs> the um, foot rest up as high as high as they can go and there we go that's that's the uh, Thule Maxi, yep, Maxi, and they list and on their instructions that is suitable for carrying children up to a maximum weight of 48 pounds or approximately six years old. Again, this was just a, to get you have an idea of how the yep Maxi works on the Brad wagon and the rest of the the Brad power bikes. Definitely recommend you read through their entire instruction manual when you get yours. Uh, look at all the potential uh, cautions and warnings and, and those sort of things. One yep. thing I wanted to show was also how you loosen it. So you push that red button, turn to the left, and if you see it down below, right here, this is the piece that extends out, so it really locks in, simil similar to how it locks in, in the front. Um, so that's that's kind of the way that the seat actually locks into that window. So it uh, seems really secure and then obviously use that um, this strap here to really lock it in there so that it, it can't, can't go anywhere. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was whenever you're loading uh, the Radawagon with a child or gear, you should never 
have the kickstand down, you should always have the kickstand up because there's always the potential of tipping. And you can imagine if you have a heavier child here, um, you know, and they they lean one way, uh, that could be potentially dangerous. So uh, make sure to not use the kickstand, even though it might seem like it can hold that weight. It's actually not meant to. Uh, I will put uh, this seat in the description. I will put a link to both Rad Power Bike site and the Amazon link. And then also there's a couple other um, websites where you might be able to order it cheaper, for instance, from Europe. So if I, uh, if I see that, I will also put that in the description. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to support what I'm doing with the Rad Owners Forum and some of the content that I'm producing, here's three easy ways that you can do so. Uh, number one, you can, if you're buying a Rad Power Bike, you can earn a $50 Amazon gift card. I will also receive one. There's a link in the description below, also on my website, radowners.com. Number two, you can view our recommended accessories pages. This is a bunch of uh, accessories for for all the models of Rad Power Bikes, um, recommended accessories from the community that I've compiled uh, over the last year or so. Uh, so you can check that out, also link below. And third, obviously, you can just join the forum, become a member, ask questions, and uh, share your experience with others. Thanks again for watching.